96.9 KO with Big D and Bubba, and we are so, so pumped up, so excited to have this guy on the phone because we have been fans forever, fans forever, that's us, we're your BFFs, your best fans forever. John Michael Montgomery, how about that? Hey man, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great, guys. Man, good to talk to you. It's yeah, been a you while. Too. You too. Yeah, it has been. Man. So, uh, man, you know, this show that's coming up is, you know, when I when you hear John Michael Montgomery sing, uh, you're going to be able to, like, sing along, right, with like, pretty much every song. Yeah. I mean, there's not a John Michael Montgomery song that you don't know. Um, and to me, I think that's one of the great things about seeing a concert like you is that, you really feel connected to the music. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, that, I mean that's one of the uh, things as a uh, you know uh, as a young artist back when uh, you know, I came out with Life to Dance back in 1992. Uh, uh, you know, your dream is to be able to uh, have career songs that uh, you know not only that you can sing for the rest of your career, but uh, the fans you know enjoy them also. And of course, you know the I tell people you know the the late 1900s have been really really good you know to men. <laughs> and uh, I was very fortunate to be able to uh, have sing a bunch of songs. And like you said, it, it, there's nothing more fun than uh, uh, watching the crowd out there sing the words sometimes so loud that you can't even hear yourself sing. So. I've definitely been uh, I've definitely been fortunate before. Do you find it uh, cooler whenever they sing? Because everybody can sing along with "I Swear" or, or that kind of stuff. Do you think it's cooler though whenever somebody sings along to like the little girl or you know "Letters from Home" or something like that? Or does it all just feel good just seeing that they know the words? Well, you know, I think uh, songs uh, like "Letters from Home" and "Little Girl," you know, sometimes. They don't necessarily sing along as much as they are uh, just, uh, you know, you can tell they're into the song, the song, uh, you know, you see some uh, eyes getting wet, you know, tearing up, and including mine a lot of times, you know, those songs still, uh, you know, they're just very touching songs to sing, and it brings a little dim- different dimension to the show uh, when, you know, other than Sold and Be My Baby Tonight, which, you know, is, you know, I love singing them songs, too, and uh, you know, and the I swears, you know, they're more likely to sing along with those songs. And uh, but you know, it gives me like three different dimensions. So you know, uh, being an old nightclubber, that's what you grew up doing was, you know, trying to find songs that made the people laugh, made the people dance, made the people may uh, make them cry too. Sometimes slow dance, fast, fast dance, medium stuff. And so I think, you know, in my career, I've been able to, uh, been lucky enough to be able to have uh, some songs that I can do in my concerts that uh, bring out all those emotions. Uh, so I think it makes it for, uh, you know, enjoyable time to come to one of my concerts. Well, make sure you get there uh, Friday, uh, 8 o'clock, Little Creek Casino Resort uh, in Shelton. Uh, all the ticket proceeds are going to Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Southwest Washington. A great cause, a great to charity, and um, you're you're going to – it's a win. I always hate to say win-win, but this is actually a win-win. Uh, everybody wins in this. So go out, get your tickets. Uh, Little Creek Casino Resort uh, for John Michael Montgomery for the show uh, tomorrow night with KO. John Michael, thank you, brother. We love you, and we'll see you at the show. Oh, man, sounds great. Thank you all again, and y'all have a wonderful day.